Um, my name's Melanie and I'm a foster carer with um, Mallee Family Care in Mildura. My husband and I and our four kids have been foster carers for almost three years now and um, we usually do fairly short term foster care. We might have a child for a weekend or a week um, or a month. Um, I think our longest placement has been about eight months. Um, so uh, we've been lucky enough to have about 25 kids come through our home in that sort of three years. Um, so uh, we've, we've got to make lots of awesome kids and, and have lots of fun. We've got some friends who have been foster carers for about 15 years who are in Mildura as well and they are carers with Mallee Family Care um, and I suppose I just saw the really positive impact that they had by being foster carers on these little people's lives when they came into care um, so you know I got to see um, how much these kids opened up and, and how much fun they had and also what a great experience it was for the carers as well and their children. Um, so that really inspired my husband and I to have a go at the training and, and see what we thought. We weren't 100% sure that we were going to be foster carers, but we thought we would do the training and then just see what we thought at the end of it and take it from there. <laughs> so um, our experience as foster carers has been um, mostly really positive. Um, we have lots of you know, awesome fun times with the kids and um, I think just the everyday, really simple everyday things that uh, that we have fun with, you know, like going to the park and or going for a swim down the river or um, really simple everyday things like that. Kids that come into care um, love and, you know, you don't have to be a sort of a superhero or someone amazing, you know, you just have to, um, you know, open your home and, and your family to have some kids come and stay with you so um, yeah we've really loved it our kids love it and my husband and I really enjoy it too so it's been a really great experience for us <laughs> the best parts for us are just the really simple things like uh, you know seeing the joy on a child's face when they have a lunchbox to take to school or a school bag or um, you know when my husband goes out and kicks a footy with the kids um, you know a bubble bath you know, it's really very basic day-to-day -day things that I think we sort of take for granted are just really awesome things for these kids. Um, you know, we had a little girl come that was eight, I think, and she had never been to a swimming pool, you know, so taking her to the pool was, you know, an amazing adventure for her and taking her to the cinema, she'd never been to the cinema. Um, so just the really simple everyday things. Um, are, are fantastic little moments of gold when you're a foster carer, so yeah. Um, I would tell them to do the training and and then, you know, if they're unsure, do the training and that will answer any questions that they have and they can talk to other foster carers and also the staff at Mallee Family Care. Um, and and give it a, really just give it a go because um, you've got nothing to lose and, and you've got so much to gain from it you, you, yourself and your partner or um, you know even if you're single and, and your kids it's yeah it's a really it's a wonderful experience and it's um, yeah I, I think just just have a go you've got nothing to lose so yeah have a go and, and see what happens so yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't uh, sure whether I was the right sort of person um, to be a foster carer, so I thought I would just do the training and see, um, you know, see what I thought from the training. Um, and also, I thought that perhaps once you have a child, that, you know, there might not be any support or anything like that. So once I did the training, I learnt that there was, you know, lots of support services in place. Um, you know, there's 24 hour. Um, phone number, local phone number that you can ring if you have any worries or anything happens. You can always, there's always someone there. You're never alone. Um, if you need someone to help you or whatever, you can always ring up. Um, so I suppose I was a bit worried about uh, those kinds of things, but after doing the training, that those worries were gone. So yeah.
one thing I've found when I talk to people about being a foster carer is they say, oh, I'd like really like to do it, but I, I don't think I could give the children back, or how do you give the children back, you know? Um, and I just wanted to say that that's such a small part of being a foster carer. You know, you've got this really big picture of all this time, all this wonderful time that you get to spend with these kids, and saying goodbye is only a really small part of, of being a foster carer. So don't not do it because, you know, that worries you or, or whatever. It is sad to say see you to the kids and, and that sort of thing, but it's definitely not a reason, you know, to not do it um, because the time that you get to spend with these kids is just magic and... Um, and you know, saying goodbyes. You, you know that you've given them something to to go away with. You know they've got a. You know they've had a lot of fun with you. And um, saying goodbye is just a really small part of of being foster carer. So um, yes, yeah, so I have a go. <laughs>